Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, thank you so much for all your love and support that you have given me for my first video. Now I'm back with another video which is an extension to my first video. In my first video, I have shown you my experience that I had with the Royal Caribbean and if you haven't seen the video, I'll provide the link in the top of the box. I've been wanting to visit South Pacific for so long. Now that I am with Royal Caribbean International, I'm all ready to explore the beautiful islands of South Pacific. So about my travel series, the first island that we're visiting today is Mystery Island. So here goes my travel series. Morning guys, today we're visiting Mystery Island and out of all the islands that we have planned for, I'm totally excited about this one as we have few activities planned in this island. Now talking about a little bit of history about Mystery Island. Mystery Island was named after Queen Elizabeth's first visit in 1974. And what I've heard about this place is it's an incredibly beautiful place with palm trees, coral reefs and white sand. Just a perfect place to unwind and relax. It's day 5 and we have reached the Mystery Island. The Mystery Island is located in Vanuatu. that is a country name. It's a beautiful island and especially today the weather is so beautiful. It is a tiny tropical island situated 10 minutes away by boat from a big island called Anatium. It is situated in Vanuatu. This island can be reached only via three means, cruise ships, local boats or small planes. It is so tiny that it takes only about 40 minutes to leisurely stroll around the island. Even though no one lives in this island, the local from nearby island will come to sell local food, local coconuts, lobsters and handicrafts. I have found a cute little cafe which was made completely out of the bamboo and they served us with their local food. Finally booked a two-hour package. The package includes one hour a boat ride, another hour for snorkeling. Since we are not really good at swimming, so we are doing a beginner snorkeling for the first time. And let's see how it goes. Once you reach the show, there are plenty of activities you can choose from. All the activities are so cheap and economical. Snorkel safari and paddle boat are the highlights of this island. So now we are going to our one-hour sightseeing tour. So this tour will be around the Mystery Island. I think it will be covering all the parts, all the beautiful things that we need to see around the island. So we're all set for our boat ride. going for the snorkeling. Snorkeling is the best way to see the mystery of this island. You can either buy your own snorkeling gear or rent on shore. There are different snorkeling packages you can choose from. 
Beginner snorkeling is the best for non-swimmers. But if your swimming skills are advanced and top-notch, I recommend you to try shark caves and advanced snorkeling islands. We then went for a massage. After the massage, the lady there gave me this beautiful pendant. Without snorkeling, now it's time for the local shopping. Spending a whole day, I realized that the locals here are lovely. They offer hair braiding, massage, markets and great picture opportunities. All you have to do is get onto that boat and enjoy this one day paradise. It is now time for us to go back and we were provided with wet towel and ice pack. Once again, the incredible hospitality of Royal Caribbean amazed me. Now something important for you guys to know, how to get to the shore. At some ports, the ship will anchor offshore and guests are taken to shore by small boats called tenders. Once the ship is anchored, there will be an official announcement and the tender numbers will be called and displayed on the screen. You can collect your tender ticket numbers from service counter and for those who have booked the shore excursions through cruise line, they will have a tender ticket number already in their tickets. Please be careful with the depart time and ensure you reach back at least 30 minutes before as you don't want to miss the last tender boat. On that note, I'm going to end my first video of South Pacific Vlog. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you guys next time.